welcome to the first annual uh, Parrot Head Open, where we try to raise money for cystic fibrosis. I decided to do a golf outing to raise money for cystic fibrosis, mainly because it's been something my family's been involved in for many years, and it's something we've always tried to raise money for since I was young. It's been deep in our hearts to try to help raise money for this. We chose to have a, a golf outing because we decided this would be the best opportunity for us to get as many people as possible in one setting and raise as much money as possible. We chose golf because one, golf's a good, good time. You always have a good time playing golf. Even if you're no good, you have a good time playing golf. But it's just also something that's fun and everybody enjoys doing it. My future goals for this, uh, one, to raise as much money as possible for CF. Uh, two, to have as much fun as possible on the golf course. But my ultimate goal is to make this one of the, the largest fundraising events in the Dayton area. I feel with all the help I've received so far with family and friends that if we continue to do this year after year, that we can raise as much money as we want. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, so far we've raised over $6,000 total. Um, and the money's still coming in. So I've already gotten two emails since I've been here that more money has came in. All the money from the whole sponsors, all the money from the raffle tickets, 100% of that money is going to CF. I want to thank Castle Hills for letting us have it here. I want to thank all of our sponsors. I'm not even going to try to name them off because there's over 35 people who sponsored over $100. There's a ton of raffle prizes people donated. And so I just want to thank everybody that donated money or raffle prizes or sponsored a whole. We're here today to support the Foundation of Cystic Fibrosis in Dayton. Right now we're doing good. We've hit two pars, last holes. Uh, right now we have closest to the pin. Golf is going excellent. We are having such a good time and the weather is perfect. Is this thing on? Well, we're here today on this fantastic fall day to uh, raise money for cystic fibrosis. Um, we're here to drink beer, play some golf, hopefully win some money and take home that trophy. It's a great value. You get 18 holes of golf, you get a steak dinner at the end, and actually some of that money also goes to cystic fibrosis. We are having a blast. The weather's wonderful. Thank you, dear Lord. And we're here for cystic fibrosis, and it's a wonderful cause, and we're here to win money and give it all back to cystic fibrosis. We're happy to be here for such a good cause. It's a beautiful day, and um, that's the reason we're here. It's a good price. Uh, <laughs> beautiful day and a good cause. We're here to have fun and raise money for cystic fibrosis. Candy, Monica, Lisa, and me. The weather's been great today. We just had a little bit of rain for the delay, but uh, once it quits, we're going to go ahead and get back out there and have a great time. It got a little wet. Up until that point, it was good. Uh -huh. No heat. There's some no. good golfers out there. Yep. <laughs> but we're having fun, enjoying it rained a little bit, but now all the golfers are back out on the course and, and we're just all happy to be here to, to help him in however we can. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's being real supportive to all of the, the uh, games and the raffles that are going on today. And we just so appreciate that what everybody's done today to help us out. So how does it feel to be part of the very first pair head open? Good. I'll probably be a part of every other one from here on out. We are selling raffle tickets today. Before the event even started, we had already made $1,000 just today in like an hour. So we're hoping maybe we can get 1000 more. But yeah, we're selling raffle tickets and still selling some string. The string works um, to help your golf score. If you're two feet away from the hole and you want to use two feet of string rather than an extra stroke, that's what you do and you can get a better score. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. lots of people buying string because apparently they're not very good at golf and hopefully the more they drink, the more they'll buy. We have a general raffle that's for, I think we have over 55 items that people have donated. And then we have events tickets like Reds tickets, Wright State tickets, UD tickets, Cavaliers. Um, Cleveland Cavs tickets. So that's a separate raffle. And we also have a silent auction for golf clubs. Between holes five and six, there's gonna be a cornhole board set up. And it's two dollars and you'll get five bags. Whoever gets the most bean bags into the bean bag cornhole game, they get half the proceeds and the other half goes to the charity.
Missed. Look at that crazy style. <laughs> well, that was shameful. <laughs> well, hey, I'm gonna say I was too drunk to play. Oh, get in there! Tremendous success, um, kind of speechless in a way. I don't know the final amount yet, but I think it's well over, that's almost $7,000 we've raised. And uh, the winning team blew us all away with a 21 under. So uh, that one shocked us, but um, only about 20 minutes of rain. And for the most part, a huge success. The cornhole winner is Bill Cox. And you won $62. Closest to the pen, Hernan Olivas. So I just want to thank everybody, thank all the sponsors, thank all the people playing, and uh, it's been unbelievable. Thank you.